Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. A hot 100 degrees today here in Waco that running about six degrees above average for this time of the year and it looks like that trend will continue at least for the rest of the week. We're sitting at 94 degrees in Waco, which is where we should be for today. 94 Colleen, 95 in Temple. Temperatures as you work your way down toward the Brazos Valley are in the mid to upper 90s at this moment. Not many clouds to speak of, although we had a few clouds with the heat of the day. But generally speaking, uh, it's been uh, partly to mostly clear, and that's what we're going to see for the rest of the night. A few more clouds, though, the farther down to the south you go, and you, you wonder how they're getting here. Well, they're getting here because of the tropical storm. Tropical storm Fernan, there it is, and that's what we're keeping a close eye on right now as it's uh, moving off to the west at 7 miles per hour, and the sustained winds that are around it at 40 miles per hour. So again, it's moving off to the west, and it's going to be hitting Mexico within the next 24 hours. So not a lot of real stayed out ahead of it to get stronger, but we can definitely see some clouds and definitely some rainfall already pushing into uh, parts of the state because of the tropical storm. There it is. There's Corpus Christi and you're working your way down toward Brownsville. We are seeing some uh, moderate to some heavier rainfall, but by far the heaviest rainfall will be down in Mexico as we go toward the next 24 hours. Here up in our area, South Texas, some areas could see maybe four to as much as six inches of rain by tomorrow night. But the track from the National Hurricane Center as we put this into motion, you can see it hitting as a tropical storm. This is in the afternoon hours on Wednesday at 50 miles per hour. So again, not a lot of room to get a lot stronger here and then eventually turning into just the area low pressure. Some of that rainfall trying to work its way into the central part of the state. But right now, I think we're going to just stay hot and dry for the next six or seven days. Now, the other big story, as you know, has been Hurricane Dorian. And there it is, the Category 2 at this moment. Winds sustained at 110 miles per hour as it moves to the northwest around 6 miles per hour. And there is the uh, latest of the radar. Again, tremendous amounts of rain pushing in right along the coast. So a lot of beach erosion. And you notice the red there. Those are all hurricane warnings that go all the way up toward the Carolinas. And again, the track from the National Hurricane Center takes it just offshore and kind of curves it around as we go throughout the end of the week into the weekend and eventually exiting way up there in the North Atlantic. That would be uh, by the evening hours on Sunday. But back here, we're still dealing with the heat, a few clouds during the afternoon and then clearing out overnight. By midnight, temperatures around 80 degrees or so. And by early tomorrow morning, temperatures will be actually dropping into the low to mid 70s. Now our humidity has been a much, much better Granted, the temperatures are hot, but the humidity hasn't been as bad, so our air temperature is about the same as our heat index in the afternoon. By the afternoon, again, our computer models are still having a hard time climbing those temperatures. I think we'll be at least 99 to 100 degrees tomorrow across our area. Then we quiet down overnight, Wednesday into early Thursday. Thursday starts off with temperatures in the 70s as we go throughout the day on Thursday. Sunshine, and again, temperatures will definitely climb to about 100, maybe even as hot as 101 here on Thursday. Tonight, though, mostly clear skies. It'll be warm. And then partly to mostly sunny tomorrow. A hot day, 99 degrees to high. Take a look at the forecast. This is Ray's Automotive. Seven-day forecast. 101 Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Keep that in mind for the Baylor game, by the way. A little bit cooler next week with temperatures in the upper 90s and just as hot down toward Bryan and College Station. Look at all those temperatures. 101 to 102 just about every day. Nighttime lows in the 70s.